Thanks, Hillary. Welcome back here as the pregame show continues. Now time for the front office report. Joined as we are every Monday by a member of the Goals front office. Joined today once again by Newport Goals general manager Chuck Pava. Chuck? Nick, how are you, Nick? Very well. A nice sunny day. It feels like summer finally here at Cardines Field. Yes, it does. It's nice that it's not potentially going to rain tonight and the sun is out. It's beautiful today, Nick. Already three rainouts in the young season. All have been rescheduled now at this point. Two of them road games. One will be part of a doubleheader. One will be an additional game played here at Cardines Field on June 27th against Mystic. Yeah, we've had a lot of rain in the first two weeks of the season, and hopefully we don't see too much coming out here thereafter because they'll start to really crunch the schedule. Since we last talked a week ago today, uh, the rosters have come together a little more, Chuck. Some more pitchers have come in. Some more position players have come in over the last two days. Yeah, they're starting to filter in here, and guys that we uh, are looking forward to getting in here. You know, we've, of course, as you know, we've lost some players, and uh, we had to replace them. But we replaced them with good quality baseball players, good quality people. We we're pretty fortunate. Um, it's starting to come together. We're still missing a few pieces, but it's only going to make us stronger down the road. Adrian English has been the goal second baseman since the, since the start of the season. Uh, we do have a new second baseman in here who can perhaps play some other positions as well, and Shane Donlin. What can you tell us about this new arrival? Well, Shea, Shea is basically a second baseman. It's pretty much his strongest position. That's what will be most of the time. I, I know he's considered what they call a baseball player. He does a lot of things well. Um, he's, a, he's a gritty kid, loves the game. You know, So I'm excited to watch him play, quite frankly. Some of the current goals who were here last year, happy to have another teammate back as of today, and that's Joel McKeithen. Yeah, but Joel back is great. You know, I mean, he was a class act for us last year, did a great job on the field, great teammate. So we're happy to have him back. Uh, we're lucky to have him back, quite frankly, and uh, he's going to fit in nicely with this club. Of course, Brett Winger has been with the team, a member of the 2012 squad, though he's still nursing a bit of an injury in recovery. Hopefully he'll be available soon. Any word or, on his progress? And are there any other injuries to report uh, right now with the squad? Well, his handmade surgery that he had only five or six weeks ago is um, something that heals and it heals slowly at times. I think that he will he'll do just fine. It's just going to take him a couple of weeks. Maybe as it starts to get a little bit stronger, he'll be Brett again before too long. You know, it's about two weeks from now, it'll be July 1st. He really has to start to be healthy for that time. Cody Jones was hit by a pitch here last week and with a limited uh, number of position players available create some interesting uh, uh, eventualities later on in the game as the goals pitchers had to fill in the, uh, the batting order. Not something that happens often, but it does happen occasionally in the beginning of the year when we're still short on players. How is Cody Jones doing? Cody Jones is doing well. I mean, I just talked to him a couple minutes ago, and he says he's feeling good. It's a little sore still, but swelling has gone down, and, and most of the um, pain has gone away. So I said, are you ready to play today? He said, oh, yeah, I'm ready to play. And by the way, that game the other night looked like a National League game, didn't it, Nick? It did. The loss of the designated hitter in the fourth inning. Yep, you get to the ninth hitter and you said, oh, well, that's a that's a bunt. <laughs> well, it did create some interesting uh, late-game options and, and throwing in a pinch hitter like Matt Foley came on in the tenth inning. Yeah. Hey, Mark McCoy gave it a pretty good bat at bat, too. He did, a couple. Oh, four or five balls. <laughs> yeah, then, of course, uh, even you know, a run was scored by a pitcher. Now, I don't know if I've ever seen that happen with the goal. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's true, too, Nick. I haven't seen that happen in a long time. So the Newport goals uh, with the Laconia Muskrats here tonight in the seven-team Eastern Division this year, Chuck. It's a much stronger division, perhaps, than it has been the last couple of years. Teams that have struggled, perhaps, out of the gate, like Mystic, have come out pretty strong this year. Both Mystic and Laconia have uh, impressive winning records in the first two weeks of the season. Well, you know, I think one of the things that might have helped them is they had all their players here right from the get-go. It might have helped them. But, you know, they are playing good baseball, and, and they've got good rosters. They've got good players. So... You know, every night out when you come out in this league, you're going to face a good pitcher, multiple good pitchers, and a good offensive team. So, hey, we got our battles set for us, but that's what it's all about, Nick. Finally, Chuck, an annual tradition here tonight, American Heroes Night, as police, firefighters, and EMT and first responders all are admitted free here tonight and will be honored on the field prior to the game. It's always one of our – it's the start of our, like, really special nights, you know, Nick. And I, it's another great honor to have them here because you, they probably don't get enough of recognition as they deserve. And the other thing is um, we're going to hey, – we have a couple of officers from Watertown Police Department here, and we're really excited about that. Newport College General Manager Chuck Paver, thanks for joining us in the pregame show. As always, we'll catch up with you next week. Okay, thank you very much. That's the pregame show for this moment. We'll continue in a moment, though. Jared Ware will be back. We'll have the Goals Insider. That's next as the pregame show continues on the NECBL Broadcast Network.